If you don't like it, do not come for me, okay? Don't come for me. Good morning. So I just have some orange juice. We try to drink orange juice just about every morning. We try, but it's time for my vitamins. Ignore that, two tablespoons. Then I have my probiotic. I just take two of these. Oh. I've also been adding black seed oil. I've heard great things about it, but just a tablespoon of that. And it just like flows to the top. Y'all see that? But yeah, here we go. Done. I just made myself a mushroom coffee. Y'all, let me show you what I've been taking. What I decided to do was you know, slowly dial back on the coffee. So I've been having more matchas, more teas. But then I heard about Four Sigmatic, which they have like a mushroom coffee, which is made from lion's mane and hopefully I pronounce this right, chaga. Um, but yeah, so it's just like an instant coffee mix. You just like add water to it and I combined it with some cashew milk as well as uh, just like a little sweetener, but that was it. So I've been enjoying that. It has like a little like taste to it. Like it doesn't taste just like coffee. So if you decide to get it, don't don't think it's about to taste like coffee. Um, it kind of has like a little savory taste to it, but if you ever need just like a coffee fix, I think it would be okay. If you don't like it, do not come for me, okay? Don't come for me, but it's giving me that little coffee fix. So what I'm about to make now are pickled onions, which, well, pickled onions and pickled carrots, which I'm very excited about. These carrots have been thriving in this water. So if you have carrots in the fridge, put them in some water, store them, like they will last. These carrots have been thriving, okay? And then we also have an onion. I also have some rosemary. I have bay leaves, dill, and then I also have garlic. Small pieces. Well, thin strips, I guess. Put two cups of water, one cup of the vinegar, add in a little bit of salt. Okay, so we're gonna start with the onions. Two garlic cloves, bay leaves. Peppercorns. A bit of salt in there. We're gonna let this sit on the counter for about 30 minutes until it cools down. Bay leaves, add in our rosemary, add in some dill because why not? The garlic cloves, some salt, have some peppercorns.
Remember the carrot pulp? We are about to use it. So in here, I just combined some dairy-free yogurt as well as some agave. So we're just gonna stir that up. people we are about to make a matcha latte we have the cashew milk that we made then what I also have are matcha ice cubes so this is just the matcha powder let me show you which one that I use this is the brand that I've been using um, most recently just had really good reviews when I purchased purchased it on Amazon so I went with that one but I've used a variety of, of different matcha brands like I've used this one before I really like this brand and this is the one that I use in these cubes now for the cubes this is just I took some of the matcha powder I also took turmeric black pepper and ginger a little fancy right so yes yeah, so I just took that blended it with some hot water and then put them in this little tray and froze it and so the way that I've been reheating it because this is my second one I have this one here as well um, but the way that I've been reheating it is just warming up some plant milk cashew milk oat milk whichever milk you choose and then just adding these in there and then adding in a sweet So I picked up this um, vegan brioche from Trader Joe's and we're about to make some breakfast toast with it. So I have the avocado as well as those pickled onions. I'm just gonna add a small amount of dairy-free ricotta. Add this avocado down. Have those pickled onions. They look scrumptious. Kind of want to be a little extra. Add some tomatoes on there. I'm also going to sprinkle down some of that salt. A few little red pepper flakes. Some black pepper. Okay, so for this very last piece, I actually just added, took some of the dairy-free ricotta as well as some agave and vanilla, and I'm just gonna mix it up. And then the very last thing that I'm gonna add on here are blueberries.
I can't believe this. I could have been doing this this entire time. Because the oil will, because the lotion moisturizes and the oil traps it. I think that is okay. I don't know who I'm becoming, but it is 6.05 and your girl is about to cook dinner. Who is she? Like this is early for me. I don't know what's going on. I'm also missing a nail, so we're gonna glue that on. But anyway, it's time for dinner. And I want to make, let me show y'all. Sarah's just walking around, watch, he gonna ring this bell. Y'all know how he do, he gonna ring this bell and he just walking, moving. Will you go, go to your bed, buddy? Go to your bed. So for dinner, I have this lion's mane mushroom. If you're not familiar with lion's mane, I don't want to steer you, like tell you the wrong information. So let me just make sure I communicate this correctly. Lion's mane mushroom, it's like, it's really good for you. It says it could protect against dementia, helps relieve mild symptoms of depression and anxiety. It also may speed recovery from nervous system injuries, protects against ultra, Old. ulcers in the digestive tract also can help reduce the risk of heart disease helps manage diabetes system so any i guess to sum it all up lion's mane mushrooms are really really good for you i think it's just absolutely amazing how healing food can be like have you ever just sat and thought about that like food is really medicine like the fact that this little mushroom can do all of that for our health. It's like, why wouldn't you wanna eat it? I mean, I know that there are people who don't like mushrooms, I get it. Actually, I don't get it because I love mushrooms, but you know, like food is medicine and it's just like so amazing. We can heal our bodies using this. Um, but anyway, so I was really inspired, like I've done pressed mushrooms before, but I was really inspired after watching a gentleman's name by the name of uh, Derek Sarno, I believe that's his name. I feel like he is like the mushroom king when it, especially when it comes to lion's mane mushroom because he makes it look so delicious. The mushrooms are always juicy, like a little crispy on the outside. He seasons it up to perfection. It's just everything. So I was feeling very inspired after watching one of his videos. And so I want to cook my mushrooms up the exact same way that he cooks his. So that's what we're about to do. And I'm also gonna have it with the kale greens that we made. Yeah, that's gonna be delicious. So let's get to that. I'm trying to think if I wanna throw these potatoes in the oven we'll, fi we'll figure that out but we're about to knock this out oh, it's gonna be so good i'm so excited While that cooks good, you can hear it searing up, baby. Okay, so when I went to the grocery store, I went to Fresh Market and I actually found this. Come on, focus on it, there we go. It is organic black truffle butter and it is completely vegan. They use the Miyoko's vegan butter. I'm putting this in it and it's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, like I opened it. I can't remember what I used it on, maybe like toast. Oh, it smells heavenly.
So I portioned out those greens. Sprinkle just a little bit of salt on top. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Huh? <laughs> I have to bleep that out. So this is pineapple juice. And I have some lemon juice. Well, a lemon. I'm gonna squeeze. Have some ginger. I wanna add some tart cherry juice. So tart cherry juice is said or known, research shows, it actually helps with sleep. I just added a splash of that and y'all, I can, I can vouch for it because it really does help. We have our magnesium right here. We have this little mix that we made. And then I have my prebiotic soda, which I like to add that to help give it a little fizz. All right, so I'm about to add in the magnesium. I'm gonna add a little bit of this poppy soda. And because I'm extra, I'm gonna add some rosemary. Okay, let's try this and see how it is. Mmm. It's good. As I drink it down, I like to add a little bit more of the poppy soda. For a little extra fizz. But I'm so happy with how this turned out. Delicious. Well, that is the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it inspired you to try a new meal this week, um, to kind of step outside of your comfort zone. Be sure to let me know in the comments which recipe you are most excited to try. Um, and then also give me some suggestions on meals that I should make, whether it be meals that you want to see me put a plant-based spin to or just something that you are really interested in trying to make that maybe you want me to try to figure it out first. Kind of have me be a guinea pig. I'll see you next week. <laughs>